This is calculator question number two. College Board asks us to convert from cubits to palms, where one cubit is seven palms. And we're told that the Great Sphinx is 140 cubits. We want to cancel cubits and be left with palms, where one cubit is equal to seven palms. So if I multiply by seven palms over one cubit, I'm multiplying by an expression equal to one. Cubits cancel, and I have 140 times seven palms, which is certainly more than 100 times seven, which would be 700. So choice D is the only answer that could be large enough. If we want an exact value to reassure us, the calculator says 140 times seven is 980, which matches choice D. You can also set up a proportion, but I like multiplying by expressions equal to one. We do that in our chemistry class, and it seems natural, and it cuts down on the error rate. I like that strategy. Congratulations to my students who are graduating high school today and moving on to do more math in college. And come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.